Friend, gusto mo bang i-level up ang iyong skills pagdating sa pagbebenta? Gusto mo bang malaman kung paano makakuha ng matamis na oo sa iyong mga prospects? If yes ang sagot mo, tune in! Don't tune out! Videos that will make you wealthy and debt-free. Sa larangan po ng selling to, and the reason why I talk about selling because one of the goals for us is to learn how to make more money, to earn additional income. However, however, ang pinakamalaking challenge so sa larangan ng pagbebenta is to get the yes from your prospect. Parang ka nandiligaw sa babae, na mga kalalaki yan, diba? yung paano mo mapapasagot ang matamis na oo. Hindi mo lang madadaan yan sa simpleng sales talk. May iba't ibang mga ika nga eh, kailangan natin i-consider bago natin yung ano, makuha talaga. Especially, right now, ha, lalo na yung mga traditional salespeople sa real estate insurance network marketing, nag-transition kayo from offline to online. Medyo challenging talaga ngayon. However, ito lang po ang good news. May mga simple and effective techniques naman na pwede natin matutunan to increase your chances of what? Winning. See poster and print ad for details. <laughs> Hindi. Uh, ang goal natin is to get a yes. So, ayan, pag-usapan po natin paano mo mapapayes ang prospect mo. Ito po yung mga ginawa kong mga techniques and I hope kahit makapulot ka lang ng isa, you don't have to do everything what I'm going to share. Kahit makapulot ka lang isa, it will re really revolutionize and change the way you connect with your prospects. Number one, importante especially sa panahon ngayon, make yourself memorable. Alam mo bakit? Sa dami na pong nag-offer ng mga produkto online, sa dami na pong uh, mga real estate, insurance, diba? network marketing, mga nagbebenta ng pagkain. Alam mo, pinaka-importante pa rin, may kasabihan tayo, no? First impressions last. Yun yun eh. Kaya kay lang mahalagan mag-iwan tayo ng magandang impression sa ating prospect. You have to make yourself stand out para lalo ka umangat sa ibang mga competitors. Kaya nga ang tanong parati is how can you make yourself different? How can you make yourself unique? How can you be remembered in a very noisy at the same time crowded marketplace already? Alam nyo, ito lang ang naintindihan ko, no? The way I position myself also in a crowded market, especially when it comes to teaching finance, ang dami na po nagtuturo about finance ngayon, di ba? Nakabasa lang ni bro or ano, nagtuturo lang at 20 years old, eh talagang expert na. However, ito yung uh, naintindihan ko talaga. Uh, para ikaw ay magtagumpay dapat sa negosyo, nasa tamang mindset. At the same time, yung sasabihin mo talaga sana, yung totoo. Don't overclaim something that you are not. Okay lang na mag-build up ng sarili, pero huwag masyado. At saka kasi, pagka hindi maganda yung impression sa'yo ng tao, like for example, alam nila, nako, imagine mo, 20 years old, expert ka na, tapos uh, bilyonaryo ka na, o milyonaryo ka na agad, sino maniniwala? So, kailangan po maganda yung impression. That's number one. Number two, para tayo mapayes ang ating prospect, build a connection. Connection with your prospect. Ang pagbibuild po ng connection sa prospect mo ay eh, isa sa pinaka-importanting step para pa-oo mo sila. Why should you build connection? Because you're building a relationship. The foundation of what relationship is trust. Tiwala. So, kailangan pagbigay ka ng ano, magandang uh, tinatawag na connection. And then, how can you connect with your audience? By good communication. It's also an important foundation. Dapat willing ka na ika nga not only share, just like what I'm doing right now, that winning ka rin makinig sa mga prospects mo. Kung nagko-comment sila, give them a chance to express kung ano yung mga questions nila, ano mga fears nila, ano mga concerns nila, na parang pumipigil ba sa pag-oo. Listening to your clients is very important. Again, the key word is connection. And in connection, it's actually an emotional attachment. Yung connection na hinahanap ng tao is yung ano eh, papakita mo na concern ka. Bakit? Always remember this principle. People do not care how much you know until they know how much you really care for them and you are concerned about them. That's number two. And number three, work on your likability. Isa pa rin yan, ang magandang technique to, no? Pero totoo naman to, I hope yung likability mo hindi pang ano lang, social media. Totoo dapat. When we say working on your likability, dito napapasok yung pinaka-perception ng prospect. Kaya naman, mahalagang ipakita natin na genuine po kayo. Na totoo talaga. Uh, listen as much as you talk. Pag ikaw kasi ay good listener, malaki ang possibility na magugustuhan kayo ng prospect. At the same time, isa pang uh, ang gagawin nyo po is huwag nyo pakita na napakagaling nyo. Ipakita nyo rin yung mga weaknesses nyo. I always share with people. I always tell this and then I never hide this na I never finished college. Number one. Number two, I failed grade six four times. Parati ko kunikwento yan. And the reason why I don't want to hide my educational attainment kasi may mga iba natatakot. Pag sinabi mo yung totoo, baka mag-unfollow na. Ba't ako makikinig sa isang college dropout? 
Ba't ako makikinig sa isang taong na bumagsak ng grade 6 na apat na beses? May mga iba na tatakot na ganun. Pero ako, hindi. I want to be genuine. I want to be true to the followers. So, I will attract the followers who believe in my story. So, that's the third tip. Pero bago ako tumuloy, gusto ko rin muna mag-special mention at mag-congratulate sa iyo. Okay, bakit? At to this point, eh, talagang nakatuto ka pa rin sa video na ito. Ibig sabihin talaga, seryoso talaga kayo na matutunan. Okay? At magtagumpay. Pero bago natin, ika nga pumunta sa number 4, patiin lang natin si Jerry Tech TV, si Helen Gumikib, at the same time, si Arnie Tarseno. Arnie Tarseno, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagtutok sa channel na ito. Let's go to number 4. Para makamit natin yung matamis na oo at makaklose pa tayo ng maraming sales online. Identify your unique selling points or unique selling proposition. Dapat itukoy mo kung bakit ka naiiba. Ba't ako bibili sa iyo? Diba? Nakakatulong ba yung produkto mo at uh, yung sa competitors mo na meron kang ma-offer na hindi nila kayang i-offer kaya kailangan ma-highlight mo yung benefits na yon. Maari mo gamitin yung mga pitch na yun sa prospects mo. Alam mo kagandahan, the more unique you are, the more valuable you become. Eh, ikaw lang ang maalala. Naalala ko tuloy may nag-offer ng ano yung, again, uh, one of my, our favorites is yung choco liquor. Yung choco liquor ni Maricar. Si Maricar talaga very unique. Uh, siya ang unang naglabas ng tin can na, na gold na it looks really very expensive pero the price is affordable. And then, ang sarap talaga ng choco late cake niya because it's made liquor. So, naging unique siya kaya bumenta siya. And then, let's go to number five. Fifth tip para mapayes mo yung prospect mo. Ito na lang po. Ang pinakalas, ang pinakagusto talaga ng tao, stay true to yourself. Pwede mong paulanan ng mabulaklak ng mga salita ang inyong prospect but if you don't really mean what you say, alam mo mangyayari, they can really see through you. Napakahalaga na maging genuine ka, magpakatotoo ka sa iyong sarili. If people see you are real, alam mo ang mangyayari niyan, ay eh, talagang mamahaling ka, susundan ka ng mga tao. At the same time, they will become loyal followers and loyal customers and loyal buyers. Ito na lang final tip ko sa inyo. Don't overpromise but underdeliver. But under under promise but over deliver. Ang goal natin is to exceed the expectation of your clients. At ang pagkuha po ng yes sa mga prospects ay talagang madali na lang. If you can choose from any of these five. Number one, make yourself memorable. That's the first thing that you can do. Second, build a connection with your prospect. Build relationship. Number three, work on your like likeability. Number four, yung ano ba yung unique selling proposition mo. And then number five, be true to yourself. And then hopefully, ito yung mga tips na nabigay ko sa yung makabuo at uh, magkaroon kayo ng solid connection with your prospect at ma-encourage mo na makuha mo yung oo. However, kung gusto mo pang malaman on how you can really connect with your clients to get leads online na hindi ka mahirapan na kung may good news po ako sa inyo. Ano po yung good news? Let's watch this. In just 24 hours, uh, I got the 200,000. We got uh, 122k sales. Our team got a uh, total sales of 140,000. Wow. At gaya rin nila Ako rin, I generated 200,000 in sales. At ito yung nakakamangha. Nakuha ko yan in 24 hours without any ads. Huh? Paano mo ginawa yan? Are you a small business owner who's trying to figure out the best way to connect with your customers online? Do you want to learn how to attract customers online without paying any ads? Without paying any ads. Alam yung gagawin ko? I will show you the best way to promote your business online so that you can get customers and make more sales. Paano? This is what I want you to do. I want you to click on the link below or click on the link on top. Hanapin nyo po yung link and I want you to watch 10-minute video. 10-minute video to be able to create more sales and more customers online. See you there! Guys, kung gusto nyo malaman, okay, kung ano yung ginagawa po namin, that's the reason why we're helping people to get a lot of leads and sales online. Kung gusto nyo malaman whether you're in real estate, insurance, network marketing, or nag-online selling kayo, I want you to click again on the link video below or sa taas. Hanapin nyo na lang po yung link or just type the word called OSB. Padadala namin yung video para mapanood mo ng buo. This is Chinkitan saying, to every problem, there's always a solution. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Always think positive. Thank you for watching. If you want to keep on growing and to stay inspired, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified. Always think positive.